Hello, this is David from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you how to get Power Query to grab data from a folder but allow the user to be able to change the folder path without opening up the Power Query Query Editor which can be quite scary for some. So first I'm going to create it. So here I've got a list of the possible folders and I'm going to just create a user choice and then the cell is here, going to go to data, data validation, choose a list, source, kind of like that. I leave a couple of spaces at the end just in case people want to add something. And then let's just select one like that. Okay, then we're going to go to data again and choose, select these two values, choose get data from table range and tick the box that says my table is headers. Opens up the query editor here. Um, I'm gonna click on this cell, right click and drill down. So now the query itself is just a value, that's a text value. So change this to file path, like that. Then right click new query, file from folder doesn't really matter where we choose here, so I'm just going to choose something like that, and uh, clean data, it might say edit depending on when you updated it. Uh, then what I'm going to do is over here I'm just going to edit this. If you can't see the formula bar, click on view and in layout, put a text box on the formula bar. I always have it on. I'm going to edit this and type in here, file path. And there you go. There it shows me based on the file path there. You can go home, close and load, close and load two. And let's create a table. That is in a new worksheet, sure. Allow it a bit of time to load. There we go. It's also <laughs> loaded the folder path, which is just that value. So I can delete this one. It's not important. But now you can see if I change the choice in the drop down there to this one. Then over here, I can just right click and refresh. And then it gives me a different one. So the user themselves can change what they want to see there. So this works better than parameters if you're using Excel. If you're using Power BI, parameters work pretty well. Thanks for watching.